Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. We are now in week 3 and it comes to an end of the camp. The training is going well and uh, I have improved a lot for the last uh, couple of uh, days. I feel uh, acclimatized and the body responds good to the training now. So that's GG. In this video I have uh, let the others answer some uh, questions about uh, the camp we have here in Sierra Nevada and why we train in the altitude so you guys can understand why we train in the altitude as much as we do and why we choose Sierra Nevada so uh, enjoy the camp has gone really well uh, personally I got sick the first week um, but the last three weeks have been really good and as a team uh, everyone has gotten the best out of themselves in uh, every session and uh, we have been training very well um, so hopefully we can uh, build on this uh, when the season comes. I feel like my body responds really well at uh, the routines that we have uh, here. Um, since everything is at uh, the same center it's uh, really easy to have uh, good routines with uh, the food and the sleep and uh, Everything you eat basically the same times every day and you have a lot of time to sleep in the day and uh, just to do everything do the same every day um, makes it much easier for the body to absorb a lot of uh, training uh, so I think that uh, that works really well on camp and especially here at this center where you just have all the facilities really close to you. What's important in the altitude is to drink more and eat more since you are using more energy or calories. And it's also very important with intensity control. So every time we are coming up in altitude, we use really much lactate testing since the feeling in the body can be quite strange. So uh, what's actually happening in the body can uh, be quite different about how we're feeling. So if you are, for example, swimming, uh, you can feel really easy by going like the normal pace you're doing in uh, low altitude uh, and when you are measuring lactate it can actually be up to threshold so that's why it's really important to basically through the whole altitude camp to measure lactate but you will be better at the end since you're more acclimatized so then it's not so important so uh, GG. Okay, my biggest challenge in altitude is probably to eat enough food. Um, when you're in altitude, you need more energy and your body uses more energy, so you need to eat more. And uh, I find it hard to eat enough in at sea level. So, to have to eat even more here is even more difficult for me, so I guess that's my biggest challenge. The reason uh, we're training here in altitude is uh, the atmospheric pressure means that there are less uh, oxygen available for us to breathe. So the body naturally produces more uh, red blood cells. So when we come down after three, four weeks, we have uh, more red uh, blood cells uh, in our bodies. So that means that our body can transport oxygen much better. So in short terms, that means that our VO2 max is uh, raised because uh, we can transport more oxygen. Uh, we have chosen to have our last camp before the season here in Sierra Nevada and in altitude um, because we can build a really good base before the season and uh, get in really good shape um, before we go down and do more specific race pace uh, sessions. And when we are up here in altitude, we mostly do DC and threshold work, uh, mostly aerobic training, um, but the last few days we have started to do some faster uh, faster stuff in training and um, just to kind of prepare ourselves uh, for when we get down. And we don't go directly from altitude uh, to compete because we do need two to three weeks to acclimatize and uh, get fit for racing and uh, GG. Uh, I guess that uh, the shape from day to day is really different here in altitude. Some days you feel really good and other days you feel uh, really bad. Um, 
That being said, the Tenspagi boys is uh, always making things much bigger than they are, so uh, I have uh, never really dropped them. They just like slide 10 meters behind and they're just like, oh, we're so dropped, and then they bike right off again. So uh, never trust what the, the Tenspagi boys say. <laughs> Negative. It's quite hard to actually find something negative, but I think it must be that <laughs> there is not that much variation in the food. But a good thing is that you always get something that you like, so that's quite well. Also, the weather changes quite fast, so sometimes it might be hard to plan the sessions uh, if you have to do them indoors or outdoors, because one day there's like suddenly a lot of snow, so you can't really ride outside. And then other days, the weather is just super great, um, so yeah, the weather changes. It's quite <laughs> difficult at, some, at times. Okay, we are now coming to the end of a four weeks altitude camp here in Sierra Nevada. It's been a good camp so far, uh, focused a lot of uh, air brake fitness, working on the threshold. Now on the last week we are slightly moving a little bit towards higher intensity stuff and we had a hard brake session yesterday. Because of the weather, we need to do it indoor, but it's uh, still a very good session and overall we are very pleased with where the athletes are now and uh, we should be ready when the season starts with a race in Yokohama and in the European Cup in Kaola for the athletes. GG! I saw you and then I went. Sheesh! 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 I went. Sheesh.